Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I realised it's been about 18 months or so since I last got my dwarf army on video, and I didn't have quite as high a quality a camera back then either. In a few additions, as you can already see. So, let's get some close-ups, shall we? I'm not sure if having the high quality camera is actually going to be good for this video or not, because it may expose some of the mediocre painting on the older models. We shall see. First of all, down here we have the legendary Slayer. Mr. Alric Big Butts. I don't know if his buttocks have ever been captured in such high definition before. So, there you go. World exclusive. Maybe you don't get a full view from there. But I'll give you the exact proportions. Which, when compared to a regular Slayer's rather smaller cheeks, I think you can see the difference. Next we've got my Master Engineer. Nothing too exciting about him. Battle Standard Bearer. Still doesn't have anything painted on his banner. Maybe one day. We have a Runesmith, who is probably going to be getting a fair amount of playtime with the new rules. They are quite tasty when you put them in a unit. We have the Mighty Anvil of Doom. I believe this was painted after the previous video, so this may be the first time people are seeing this. I'm quite happy with how it came out paint-wise. Just a shame that they kind of destroyed it in the rules with the new book. It's not really that effective anymore. I'll still use it sometimes though, because I'm not too concerned about having the best possible build. This Rune Lord is a model I've had for a really long time, but I only fairly recently got around to actually finishing it. A Thane, which is actually the Warhammer Quest Dwarf. One of my favourite Dwarf models that they've ever done. And a Dwarf Lord. A metal one. I think I used to go a bit overboard with the washes, because you can't really see his beard at all anymore. It is a very, very dark grey. Almost Chaos Dwarf-like, some might say. We have the Quarrelers. You can see some of the slightly more recent models in the front rank. One of the new additions, we have some Iron Drakes. These are some of my favourite dwarf models, possibly of all time, even though they're new. I think they're probably my favourite in terms of paint job as well. The blue glaze really looks good, I think. Got some Thunderers. A lot of metal ones in the front rank, and then some of the single pose plastic ones in the rear rank. So they're not poking each other in the back of the head with their guns, which do stick out quite far. Here we have some miners, led by one of the Dwarf Lords of Legend, which is an old model. I think the candles towards the front actually look really good. Some of the ones towards the back I painted first, and I didn't really have the right style down. The ones at the front do look good, I think. We've got another recent addition here with some hammerers. A unit that I've always lacked in my Dwarf Army, just because I didn't like the old models at all. I thought they were quite hideous. But these are really nice, so I got 20 of those. I decided to use the drummer instead of the horn, because there's a lot of horns in this army and not any drums until now. We have my great weapon warriors. Hopefully the new Ultra HD camera doesn't expose the paint job on these guys too badly, because these are one of the older units that I've painted. Not especially detailed, and I'm sure there's a few mould lines that you can identify on there. Back in the day, before I realised that removing mould lines was the done thing. We have my favourite unit, the Iron Breakers. The new ones are actually really nice as well, but I didn't see the point spending the money when I've already got these beauties. They still look perfectly acceptable. I believe this was the first unit I actually painted when I started my Dwarf Army for real, about 15 years ago or so. So the paint probably doesn't hold up that well today. We have my Grudge Thrower, back when dwarves were allowed to use wood. Then we have one of my personal favourites, the Organ Gun. I do actually have the two previous Organ Gun models as well, but they're not painted yet. So I'll have the full generations of Organ Guns at my disposal. Here's one of my cannons, which has been made slightly more interesting with bits from the cannon slash organ gun kit. Ah, Mr. Gyrocopter. This may be the longest he's ever spent fully assembled, because I don't keep him in the carry case anymore. I've put him in a drawer, 
all on his own, so he can't possibly get damaged. But I am a bit more proficient with pinning now, so if it does fall off again, I think I will be able to pin it expertly instead of the paperclip job that it's currently employing. Much better in the rules now, since the new book came out. So I'm sure, since I'll be using it more, it will eventually break. That's just the nature of these old flimsy metal models, I'm afraid. Here we have my older cannon. The dwarf on the right is looking incredibly sunburnt. Back when I used to go really overboard with the washes. This is one of the first dwarf models I owned, I believe. One of the few remaining pieces from the really old dwarf army that I used to have before this current incarnation, which was round about the year 2000-ish. This particular piece would have been in there since maybe four years previous to that, when I first bought any dwarves at all. And finally, the much neglected bolt thrower. If only they made him useful in the rules, because it is quite a nice model. Especially with the little caged goblin that I've got on its base there, from the miner's kit. So I believe I'm right in saying that these are the four things that have been added to the army since the last video. Anvil of Doom and the Rune Lord, I think, look equally tasty. Hammerers, I just recently finished painting those after they were on my painting table staring at me accusingly for about eight months as other things were pushed ahead of them in the queue but they're done now and the iron drakes which i like very much indeed next on the painting block i've got the gyro bomber and also belagar iron hammer who's going to go nicely with my iron breakers i think on his oath stone whether i use him as the special character or just as a lord or a thane on an oath stone remains to be seen so maybe in another year or so I'll have those painted, and there'll be a further update video. Hopefully slightly sooner than that. I'm not sure when I did the video on my Vampire Counts Army, I'll have to go and check that one out as well. I may redo that with the new Ultra HD camera as well. So, maybe I'll see you then. Ta-ta!